Welcome to the PFO channel, I'm Jim. My favorite flashlight is this little quantum rechargeable flashlight from Harbor Freight. I've had this flashlight for about seven years and it's been a great flashlight. I just took it fresh off the charger, so it's lighting up nicely right now, but it's gotten to the point where the battery doesn't hold the charge more than a few minutes. Now I just unscrewed the ends to see if I could just easily swap out batteries and it's not going to be that easy. It's got a built-in battery or a hardwired in battery and it doesn't come out easily. So I'm going to open it up now and see if I can take it apart and hopefully I'll be able to fix it. If not, well, it might be fun just seeing how it comes apart. So let's bust into it and see what we find. This is the end with the, the push button on it. All right, now see, this is a little circuit board that's got the on-off switch. I can see the battery right in behind that there, that blue shrink wrap battery. But you know what? The wires are not letting it come out very far. So let me open up the other end and see what we got there. A little aluminum piece that unscrews there. This looks like a wedge that's got to pull out of there. Kind of a half circle wedge plug. And that holds this side up against, you see the The charging port is in here. Okay, so now that this wedge is out of there, that allows this piece, after you've dislodged it from the charge port area, it can move further inboard. So let's see if that's enough to be able to pull the battery out. So now I got this thing out far enough to clear the housing and that looks like that plastic housing is clipped around the battery. So I need to unclip that from the battery without pulling it hard enough to screw up any wires. So this came off of the battery. This is just a rubber pad stuck alongside of the battery. But this is wired in still somewhere to the back side of this. It looks like maybe the whole thing will come out the other direction. But I got to remember that this, this has these flats on it. And I'm betting that if I turn that sideways, it'll slide down the tube behind the battery. So push the battery in a little ways and then turn this to where it'll follow that right out of there. And I gotta get, make sure this piece doesn't bind up. Okay, that's coming out easily. Here comes the battery, and there comes the push button board behind it. So that got all the guts out of the tube. Oh, it says LQ18650. It's an 1800 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts. So you can see that this battery is soldered in to this circuit board. So that is not going to be just a unplug one and plug in another one sort of thing. I'm going to have to solder that. 
So let me go shopping and see if I can find a place to buy one of these 18650s. All right, well, I found on Amazon what I believe is going to be a battery that will fit this. Let's see what we got here. This is a lithium ion 18650. This is a 2600 milliamp hour. This original one was an 18, uh, 1800 milliamp hour. They're both 3.7 volts. So I think this will be a good backfit. It looks like the same diameter, the same length. Came with a little two pin connector on the end, which I don't need, but it has plenty of wire length. Need to get my soldering set up out and just do a simple re-soldering on those. Two leads and the battery is free. And those are good solders. Unplug this and move it out of my way. All right, that works. Now, if I can remember the order in which this came out. So that can slide on through there. So now I take this piece, the uh, wider spot was in the back, so I'm going to put it on my battery like this with the foam pad opposite that. And this, the wires on this go right up in between the foam and the end of that. And this, this little tab goes into that notch. So this has to go in that way. And these, you got the two pins here and here go into those holes. See how the black one goes around the outside edge of that? test still working and the grommet needs to line up got to reach in there and help that find its way okay that rubber grommet is all lined up on there so that's in the right position so now I have 
have to gently shove this wedge in there without breaking any more wires. There we go. One more test. Still works. And then this is going to wind this way clockwise. So I want to give it a couple of turns counterclockwise first. That way I'm not stressing the wires when I'm twisting it. One more test. There we go. And then this one last piece. See on, on this side, oops. On this side we have a square tab on each end. And on this side we have a half circle. Those half circles have to line up with these half circles right there. Let's flip it over this way. And right in there like that. The O-ring is still in good shape on this end as well. It's still in good shape. There we go. And let's just make sure that the charging circuit is still intact. Getting the charging LED is red. When it's done, it goes green. I'm back in business with a new battery. Should last another I don't know, seven or eight years. Now in terms of changing batteries on a flashlight, it is by far the most difficult of such jobs that I've ever done, but it is completely doable. And for whatever the cost of the new battery, this is the old one, but from whatever the cost of that new battery on Amazon is a whole lot less than buying a new USB rechargeable flashlight. I'm not affiliated in any way with Quantum or anything else that you see here. I, I don't know if you can even buy this model anymore and there was no model number on it anywhere or I would share that with you. Some of the things that I got like the spare battery and this nice soldering station I picked up with my own money on Amazon. And uh, as a convenience to you to help your search if you need something similar, I'm going to put links to these items in the description below the video. I am an Amazon associate. That means I may earn a commission if you use those links, but there's no added cost to you for doing so. It is a great way for you to support the channel though. It keeps me motivated to put out interesting and useful content like this. So thanks a lot for watching. PFO channel out. Would you stop that? Cut it out.